But first, a trio of new studies provide new alarm about rising sea levels and the prospect of further flooding along the coasts. Among them, seas rose faster during the past century than at any point in the last 2,800 years. Hari Srinivasan is here with more on the story. Scientists say this is more definitive proof that human actions are contributing to sea level rise. Already, coastal cities like Charleston, South Carolina, and Miami, Florida, for example, are facing more flood days than in decades past. The global climate conversation is working toward keeping temperature rise limited to 2 degrees Celsius. And even under that scenario, as this animation shows, cities like Washington, D.C., and its well known landmarks could look very different one day, albeit several hundred years in the future. One study estimated that sea level rise could be as much as four feet higher by the end of this century under more dire scenarios. Benjamin Strauss is with Climate Central, a research organization that worked on some of this. So, Benjamin, when we see your graphs at the very end, of this, there's this almost hockey stick effect. What is it that caused that acceleration of sea level rise? The sea level is extremely sensitive to global temperature. And by burning fossil fuels and putting carbon in the atmosphere, uh, we've heated up the planet a great deal over the last century. So how do we know in these models, how do you build these models to figure out what sea level rise was like going back 2,000 years? There wasn't somebody with a stick saying, here it is at two and a half feet, here it is at three. Yeah, it's true. So uh, there was a lot of detective work involved. Uh, scientific teams around the world have been studying coastal marshes, uh, taking cores, looking for clues about where things grew at what times. Um, and this study is special in that it went beyond each of the individual studies um, that we've seen in the past and integrated them all um, to put together one picture out of all of that detective work. So let's talk a little bit about impacts. Take uh, a city like Charleston, a low-lying city already that we know is facing some of these floods. What's it likely to be like going forward, say, to the end of this century? Well, really, uh, the sharp increase in floods caused by us uh, that we've seen over the last several decades is only just the beginning. We're, we're a few inches into a problem that's going to be measured in feet this century. And I'm afraid to say we can expect floods uh, and flooding to accelerate a great deal more, even in the next two or three decades, than in the than what we've already seen in the last two or three decades. You know, as we mentioned, the climate conferences that happen around the world, they're really trying to figure out this two degrees Celsius target. But your, your forecasts and your predictions and your models are showing that even at two degrees Celsius, there's a tremendous amount of increase in sea level rise, and a lot of coastal cities are impacted by this. Yes. Uh, in the long run, two degrees Celsius warming uh, probably is not, a, a lot of today's coastal cities are probably not compatible with that, uh, whether you're talking about Miami or Shanghai or London. Um, but two degrees is a great deal better than our current path. So there's some solace in that and how quickly sea level rises will play a large role in how well we can adapt. Um, I'd also say that if we can end up being more ambitious than two degrees Celsius and cut uh, warming down to one and a half degrees in the long run, um, the impact there would be about half of what we could expect with two degrees Celsius. So that last half degree is a, makes a big difference. You know, this conversation about two degrees or a half a degree here, half a degree there, often it gets mired in politics, it gets mired in lifestyle changes, it, and then you start thinking globally in different countries. I mean, <laughs> reading your data at some point is an incredibly sort of sad and dire prediction. Is there any way through this? Yeah. Um, well, it, it is, it is uh, sad, and it's, it's a difficult line of work in a way. But I take some solace. Uh, first of all, there's a lot we can do to adapt and to deal with change over time. And um, I take some solace in knowing all people are mortal, right? But we still live our lives. Uh, we still have meaningful lives. There are some places on our coasts now uh, which we now know are especially mortal uh, because of sea level rise. It won't stop them from making contributions um, for the next decades or the next century. Uh, but over time, we're going to have to either build tall walls and live beneath, you know, in the bottom of very deep bowls, which is a frightening prospect, 
uh, or else we're going to have to move. All right, Ben Strauss of Climate Central, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you.